Hello, today let's learn about matrices. Matrices are one of the most powerful tools in mathematics. It helps us to solve problems in many branches of mathematics. Before we learn more about matrices, let's find out what matrices represent. Let's take an example. Suppose you have 15 notebooks and you want to represent it as a number 15. And let's say this represents notebooks. Now you also have five pens. Then let us say it can be represented as 15 in terms of two ordered numbers 15 and 5. Say this is represents notebook and this represents pens and the row represents your position. Now you have two friends, say Ramesh and Suresh and this is you. Now if we have to say how many notebooks and pens each one of you have, it can always be written like this. Now you have 15 notebooks and 5 pens. Ramesh, suppose they have 10 notebooks and 3 pens and Suresh has 4 notebooks and 10 pens. That's a whole lot of pen. Right? So this set of numbers is called matrices. Now there are how many rows? There are 3 rows, 1 for each one of you and there are 2 columns, 1 representing the number of notebooks that each one of you have and the other representing pens, the number of pens that each one of you have. So this is matrix is of the order of three rows by two columns. So this is a matrix of three by two order three by two. Now let's take a closer look at this matrix and see what else we can learn. The number 15 represents the number of notebooks that you have. Similarly, the number 4 represents the number of notebooks that Suresh has. Now, each one of these numbers is called an element or an entry. Now, let us look at some examples of matrices. This here, we have two rows and three columns. So, this matrix is of the order 2 cross 3. So an order of the matrix gives an indication of the size of the matrix, right? And this here is a 3 row and 1, 2, 3 row and 1 single column. So this is a 3 cross 1 matrix, right? And the last one has 3 rows, sorry, and 1, 2, and 3 columns. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. If the number of columns is equal to number of rows in a matrix, then that matrix is called a square matrix, right? And this, where the number of columns is 1, it's called a column matrix. And if the number of row is 1, it's called a row matrix, right? Now, let us learn about the general representation of any element of a matrix. How do I denote an element of a matrix, right? Suppose, let's consider, let us consider the second element in the first matrix. Now, this is in the first row and second column. So, if you want to represent or write this element and let's say this matrix is denoted by the capital letter A, then this element would be represented as A of 1 and 2, right? Same ways, if I if we want to know how to write, denote the number 9 in the matrix A, it would be small letter A, the row is number 2 and the column is number 3, it will be A, 2, 3. Similarly, for any matrix, if you are to represent a number, represent one of the elements, 
you can write it as a i j where i the generic notation is a i j where i represent the row and j represents the column of the number let's have some practice right on using the matrix 3 here if we have to say generic representation of sin x right it would be a of 2 comma 1 because it is in the second row and first column okay so now you have learned what a matrix is and what a matrix the num elements in the matrix means and how to represent a generic representation of uh, an element in a matrix so using this we would be able to identify an element in a matrix and also know what a matrix means in the next lesson we will learn more about the sizes of matrix and the various types of matrix